CSN student email. CSN will send important information to students in CSN email, so it must be checked often. Students can set a phone reminder to check CSN student email daily or opt to download the mail app. Inside the student email, students can also use Microsoft Office and Microsoft Teams. Let's check it out. First, you go to csn.edu and click on Login. If you've already validated your account, which you should have by this point, you can go ahead and log in to Go CSN. If you do not already have an account for CSN student email, you're going to need to create one. So after you log in, you'll see this screen in Go CSN. It will be in your home default. So click on it and then create an account. Once you create an account using your NCHI student ID number, then all you will have to do is sign in. Notice that the sign in is your NCHI student ID number at student dot csn dot edu. Keep in mind that student email can be a little confusing because the NCHI ID number in the address is used for login or sign in purposes only. If you need to give out your CSN student email address to somebody else, you will need to use your first name dot last name at student.csn.edu. After you've created your account, you can go back to the GoCSN page, log in, click on student email, log in, again, if you don't have a WebPass account created. The WebPass allows you to bypass logging in more than one time as it creates a single sign-on to your account. Once you log in, you're going to see a big new message box. This is how you create a message. Go ahead and click on new message. Now notice if I were to type my own name, just the CH, it's going to populate with a selection. And notice that my NC ID number is not in the student email. So if I want to, I can email myself a very important message and save it in my, my email inbox if I don't have a chance to save it in the cloud or back it up on a USB. This is a very good option for saving your files or your drafts as you're working on them. You click on it and then type in your subject, type in your message, and press send. Notice some other options. Your inbox is where you receive all of your messages. Sent is where you check what you have sent. And then you have many more options down here. If you want to create your own folder, you can do that as well. So you click left click on it, you type what you want, and press enter. And then I chose to use important news. And all I have to do, if I feel this is important, I click on the message and I just move it over to the folder. And that's it. Now, CSN gives me other options as well. I have a calendar here. This is a great way to organize all of your classes, your assignments. You can set up phone reminders, people. This is a directory of people you can search for. Files, anytime you find or you send a file in CSN, you will be able to click on files here. CSN also provides students with Microsoft Office, Microsoft Excel, Microsoft PowerPoint, and OneNote. These are very common 
applications used by faculty at CSN. So CSN is providing this in the student email. CSN also provides Teams. Teams is an opportunity to communicate face-to-face -face over the computer with another student or another faculty or staff. If you're not happy with the current settings, you can come over here to the cog and open up your settings. Right now, the background is a little pink, so I might want to change it to a relaxing mountain setting. Also, perhaps the white background is a bit too bright for my eyes, so I might want to change it to a dark background. and so on. The reading pane. If you notice, my emails are right here, one and two, and when I click on them, it appears down here. If I want to, I can change the reading pane so it appears left and right instead. This might be easier for you. It is really easy to delete messages that you don't want. You can click all of your messages individually and press the delete or empty folder, or you can select the first message and the third message, or the first message and the 100th, 100th method, message and click control and you just get the first and the last, or you can use the shift key and select all of them. It also gives you an option to empty the entire folder, flag a message, mark as read, mark as unread, move to a different box, or just cancel. I haven't read this message yet, but I know I want to keep it. I know what the message is, and I don't want to be reminded that I have this message. So I'm going to click on it, and then I'm going to click Mark as Read. And that's it. I can do the same thing to Mark as Unread. If you have someone in your class that you want to collaborate with or someone at CSN, you can use Teams. It's pretty easy to do. You can even set up your own calendar appointment yourself. So say I want to make a meeting for tomorrow. I click on the date. I click on more options. I add my title. And now I want to invite my friend Betty. So I'm going to look for the email address. Oh, here she is. Now I'm going to select the time that I'm going to invite her. And I want to make sure it's a Teams meeting so that we meet online. And then I'm going to send her the invite. I can invite as many people as I would like. When I'm done, I'm going to press send. I can go back to my inbox. And then I can click on my sent to see if the email invitation was sent. And here it is. So I'm going to click on it and notice that I can click here to join the meeting. So tomorrow at the time I selected, we can both log in to the meeting using this link. When you send an email and you want to compose a new message, make sure that you add the subject 
very specific to what the message is about. For example, registration. You type your message and you send. If you want to, you can copy yourself on the message. So it'll appear here in your inbox instead of only in your sent. Now that you have your message, if you want to reply to the message, make sure the message is only about registration. If you have a different topic about placement testing, for example, do not reply. Instead, go back and create a new message and title it placement testing. It's important for your fellow colleagues and students to be able to follow an email strand about the same message. So always create a new message for a different topic. I've created some messages here that are cluttering my inbox. So I'm just gonna go ahead and delete some of them. And I'd like to delete all, so I'm gonna click the first one and then the shift key. And now I'm going to empty the folder. And now I'm ready to receive new messages. If you need extra help with student email, you can go back to your GoCSN login page, click on internal at CSN, and then you can come down here to quick links and click on CSN email help. This gives you information about the email, the login, encrypted emails, email on mo mobile devices, scheduling meetings, and setting up mail app on a Mac. There are also lots of frequently asked questions. In addition, you can click on Tech for Going Remote, Learn Remotely, Enhance Your Skills, and you can get these guides on Microsoft Office, which was in the email account, Word Training, which was also in the email account, and you can learn how to download to a mobile or set up email on a Mac. So there's lots of good stuff here. I hope this helps. Good luck.